Uh, let's get us to some weekend picks, Bob. I will go first. The first one uh, is a show that we'll be recapping in coming weeks. It's Ray Donovan on Showtime, starring Lev Schreiber, created by Ann Biderman. Uh, basically what it's about is Ray Donovan is a professional fixer in L.A. for rich and powerful Hollywood types. And I think it's worth a shot. I think uh, there's some promising things about it. Like, Liev is obviously someone to be excited for. Oh, yeah, and, for sure. And Showtime will definitely give it some good money and care and overall professionalism. Um, if there's one problem, some critics have started to have seen this on the screeners, and their buzz is, well, they're a little bit underwhelmed, <laughs> which isn't a great sign. Mm. But I think we'll give at least a few episodes a try, and we will see what we think. So uh, Ray Donovan is, is a pick. And also... Uh, just to throw this out there, Dexter starts again. For anyone out there who's a Dexter fan, this is the week. Make sure you set your DVRs for the final season of Dexter. What do you got for us movie-wise, Bob? Final season, wow. Um, I've got two movies coming out this weekend. Um, the first one is The Heat. Now, this stars Sandra Bullock, but uh, more importantly, Melissa McCarthy, because uh, Sandra Bullock... <sighs> Well, I, I'll, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, but she's sort of run her course. I, I don't know if she's she sort of does the same thing in every movie lately. You're over Sandra, huh? All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm over Sandra. Uh, it's been a few years now. But Melissa McCarthy, on the other hand, is a rising star, although she um, went down a notch when I saw her in this, the, the last movie she was in, not because of her. The overall movie wasn't that good. That was uh, Identity Theft or Thief or whatever that movie was. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, She's in this movie, The Heat, which is directed by the same director who did Bridesmaids, which is where Melissa McCarthy really mm -hmm. uh, shine, you know, shone. She she did a really great job there as a as a supporting actress. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a buddy cop show, but through the lens of women instead of men, because it's it's a buddy cop but two women, um, and it's also known for being. Uh, well, it's rated R and it's got filthy language, and so it's like I I kind of like the idea of like. Two women, badass, taken to the streets and taking care of each other, buddy cop style, but with a lot of comedy and funny people. Um, hopefully Sandra Bullock can live up to the task and she doesn't pull a Jenna Fisher. Um, <laughs> well, she's a real movie star. I mean, if, even if you're <laughs> over her, she's, she's done a fair amount of things. And sure, I don't think sure. this requires her to have that much range, right? This could be That's similar true. to what she's done before. Yeah, I guess I guess if it's, it's just that I'm sort of bored with her. <laughs> like, Sandra Bullock... <laughs> She she can be funny in her own way, but she's got this comedic style that it, it's almost like after you watch too mu too much Hugh Grant in a concentrated period of time, he's no longer funny. He's like annoying. Um, sure. Sandra, Sandra Bullock's kind of the same, but <laughs> but here's hoping. And then you put those two together, and they've been in movies together. No, um, the, it looks good. I'll probably see it. Uh, it's also got the my wife wants to see it factor. So you know, hey, right on. I'll, I'll see the heat. Um, the other movie coming out. Uh, is is a blockbuster, action-packed, you know, thriller of sorts. White House Down. Um, this is starring Jamie Foxx and Channing Tatum, our favorite ex-stripper turned movie star. And uh, it's the White House is down. You know, lots of people in government are killed. And how do we save the president, who's Jamie Foxx? Um, it's looking to be like it's got a little bit of the cheese ball action thing going on. It's by the the, the director of uh, that did uh, Independence Day, um, so it could go either way. It could be more annoying than fun, or it could be more fun than annoying. But I'm I'm probably going to give it a shot. I think it could be fun. Cool. Uh, so as I like to do, I just like to run uh, my movies I've had my eye on at the end of you. See what you've thought about these. Okay. Um, mine are smaller, of course. One of them is. Uh, a Neil LaBute play adapted into a movie that I, like Like I say, I'm a huge Neil LaBute fan. Some Girls seems like it uh, might be pretty interesting. I know Kristen Bell's in it. Um, I, I don't know, just watching the trailer. And since I'm a Neil LaBute fan, I think I might be interested in it. Um, and the Which other one, is that? It, Some Girls. Oh, I Some think Girls. It, I okay. think it's got one of these, uh, one of these, Limited theatrical releases at the same time. It's got a digital streaming release. They're they're doing one of those things. So, oh, new business model type thing. Um, but I'm probably gonna be seeing that just because I'm a fan of Neil Butte. The other one is I'm so excited by Pedro, or the director and writer is Pedro Almodovar, another guy I'm a huge fan of. Um, so I don't I don't know what you think of either of those. 
Um, I I've only heard of one of them. I've heard of I'm so excited, and it, it seems kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, That's probably fair. <laughs> I kind of want to see it, but it, it's kind of one of those that uh, I'd have to probably do on my own. And so, you know, But if you're going to see it, then maybe that's convincing enough. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So uh, the, we'll not see. enough to really get on your radar as must-sees anyway, but those are two of mine that I have my eye on. If you're looking for something uh, a little quirkier, maybe you can consider those, especially if you've already watched Bob's too, if you have a real yeah, <laughs> marathon I, I weekend. How- I love how we compliment each other. It's like Logan's got the indie, like you know, quirky sort of movies, and Bob's like, "Here's the action thriller you must see." <laughs> hey, we aim to please. We're there for the people. Something for everyone, Bob. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, it's TV. It's movies. It's practically culture. Those are our weekend picks. Go forth and watch. <laughs>